Hi everyone, welcome to Lead Code Daily Challenge. So the problem that we have to solve today is binary tree right side view. So given a binary tree, you need to return the right side view of the given binary tree. So how do we define the uh, binary right side view? Let's say uh, you have a binary tree like this. When you are standing on the right side of the tree, the nodes that you see uh, will form the right side view. So in this case, uh, when you are looking at this tree from the right side, so the node that you see at the first level will be 1, then you see 3 and you cannot see 2 because uh, 3 is our shade in 2. So the same way you, you can see 4 and you cannot see 5. So the nodes that you see on the right side, uh, we need to return on those nodes uh, as a right side view. So let's look at the examples. So in the first example as we have seen, uh, the answer will be 1, 3, 4. So uh, if you see uh, here, the uh, result that we got, uh, the nodes are all uh, right children. So one is a root node except the root node, every other node is a right children. So one is a root node, three if you see it is a right child of one and four if you see it is a right child of three. But uh, we, I mean, we should not be uh, confused with that because there may be some cases where we may get some of the nodes as left children also. So let me show you one example. Here you can use uh, preview operation. We have, yeah, so when you uh, write a test case, you can see the uh, binary tree. So let's say 1, 2. So in this case, one two the right child and right child is null so you have three so here all the children are left children left nodes so in this case the right side view again will be one two three and here the nodes are uh, left children not the right children so in this case we don't have any right children so the right side view is still uh, one two three so uh, all these uh, cases we need to consider so basically uh, what we need to do is so basically we need to uh, take the node, we need to consider the node, uh, the last node in every level. So if you see the first level, the root of the node will be the uh, first node that we need to consider in our answer. If you see the 2 and 3, we are considering the last node in the uh, second level. Then we are considering uh, the next node in the uh, third level. So last node in the third level. So at every level, you need to consider the uh, last node. So basically, we need to do a level order traversal. If you uh, traverse the nodes level by level, in each level, you just take the last node. So uh, with this uh, uh, observation, so do you think we can use some uh, traversal method? Do you think there is a traversal method that uh, satisfies this uh, observation? Yes, so we can use uh, BFS traversal, so breadth first traversal. So basically uh, BFS uh, traverses the given uh, tree uh, level by level. So it traverses the, uh, all the nodes in the first level, then it goes to uh, second level, then it traverses all the nodes, then it goes to uh, next level, then it traverses the, all the nodes. So this way we can do BFS and then at every level just consider the last node. So let's uh, look at the source code. So this should be, if you are already familiar with the BFS, it, this should be a straightforward and simple solution. So if the root is null, that means the tree is empty, just return empty list. So we take a queue because a queue maintains our uh, level, the number of nodes in each level. So it maintains uh, the nodes level wise. So that is uh, used for, uh, generally used for BFS traversal. So we add the first node uh, to our queue. So we take tree node. We push a node instead of a value because we need to access its members, left and right children. Then we take a final result. Right we are going to return this as a array list. Then till a queues, there is a uh, there is some nodes in the queue. We keep traversing. So the number of nodes in the current nodes in the queue will give us the number of nodes in a particular level. So when we are pushing the root initially, so that will be the number of nodes in the uh, first level. So the size will give you uh, the current nodes. So uh, if you observe closely, we keep adding the nodes to Q here. So that should not interfere uh, with our current level nodes. That's why we initially take the size because when you keep adding the nodes, the size will increase. So we should make sure that we already take the size. So that size will give us the number of nodes in the current level. So then we iterate from uh, i0 to size then we take every node so q dot pole pole will give us the top node and it will remove the node from the queue and there is a one more method peak peak will give us the top node but it doesn't remove the node from the queue so pole will give the top node as well as it will remove the node then we take the value then 
uh, we are iterating from uh, i to 0 because we need to consider the last node. So, the la finally, when we finished our for loop, the value will be having the last node value. So, that is what we want. So, we will add it to our view finally. And whenever there is a left children or right children, right, right child or left child, we need to add it to queue because we will traverse them in the next level, in the next iteration. Then we continue our while loop till there are some nodes in the queue. So, this gives us the result. Yes, so let's submit and check. Yeah, so it is accepted. So let's look at the C++ code. So this is uh, exactly same except that Q data structure which will be a little different. So here uh, again if root is null, we return empty. Then Q, uh, we initially push the root. Then while Q is not empty, we take the size of the Q that will give us number of nodes in the current level. Then we traverse all the nodes in the current level. Then we Q dot front will give us the top node. Then Q dot pop will remove the node from the uh, Q. Then we take the value and this value will be updated with every node's value and finally the last node value will be stored in the value so that we are going to use in the our result then if there are left or right child we push it to the queue those will be uh, processed in the next level so this way we get our uh, right side view of the binary tree so when, uh, let's submit and check yeah so the solution has been accepted and let's look at the time complexity so the time complexity basically will be uh, in the worst case we are going to traverse all the nodes that is uh, every node in, at every level so this will be uh, in the order of o of n for both the java and c++ the space complexity again will be uh, we will be storing uh, let's say uh, we will be storing the maximum nodes in a particular level so let's say we have uh, multiple levels and in one of those levels we have some maximum number of maximum of n nodes or let's say l l nodes in that case the space complexity will be o of l because at any point of time in queue we will not store all the nodes of the tree so that's it for today thank you